Hello, my friends. It is Denise. Sorry, that was sort of a groaning hello, my friends, wasn't it? Uh, someday I'm going to re-clean my uh, mess of a desk again. It is Denise from Loving Life at 60-ish and Fairy Rose Cottage on Etsy. And... I am here to do our monthly savings. Um, so I do this at generally towards the beginning of each month. And I don't know if I have enough money we're going to say I do, and we'll see what happens. Um, there's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. 65, 70, 75, 80, 85, 90, 95, 100. And 50. Um, the only reason why I don't know if I have enough is because I didn't figure things out ahead of time. And usually I do for this. Now, my monthly um, ones are the, uh, it was the heading towards monetization. And as you know, we got to a thousand. Yay! And did you watch my giveaway? Um, video on Wednesday. You will want to watch that so that you can be a part of it. And thank you so much for all the response. So we're changing it to heading towards 2k subscribers. So my next step is 2000 subscribers. Um, so I made a new challenge to do that with. And then, um, and I do that once a month. I also do my step challenge once a month, and I'm a little behind. I'm doing September's tonight. And I do the, um, so that's the step. I do the weight loss if I've lost any weight, but I am not losing weight, folks. Um, I do need a new envelope for the heading towards monetization one um, I do the where are you uh, the people who purchase from different states I, and I have the uh, let's see where's that one I think that's the first one I am in need of North Dakota South Dakota and Alaska I've stopped um, looking I have had some new countries come through. Um, I had counted some countries and then uh, it gets real tricky trying to figure out where everyone's from. Although I have had um, some from Peru lately. Yay, Peru. And so um, we can add that in. But I am looking for North Dakota, South Dakota and Alaska for shoppers in my Etsy shop. And so then it's the um, heading towards 2K subscribers. And I do the steps um, in theory, I was doing I started the steps in April, by the way. In theory, I was going to do a yoga challenge, but um, then everything sort of fell apart. And this doesn't go in here. It's actually going in um, with my new challenges. So we're just going to get started and see where it leads us. Um, I have my regular uh, weekly planner. This is a happy planner planner. And I do keep track of steps in it um, in the monthly calendar part. So, but uh, actually, I guess we're going to do heading towards 2K subscribers first. And I currently have, I wrote it down and I seem to have misplaced the um, little post-it note, but that's all right. I have 1,171 subscribers right now. And so, obviously, we've started at 1,000. And then 1,171. So, uh, 1,000. 
171 divided by 10 equals uh, 17. <laughs> Duh. Um, so we're going to be able to color in 17 of these today. Can you imagine? I mean, how amazing is that, you guys, that I'm already um, 171 headed towards 1,000, uh, headed towards 2,000. So we're going to color in 17 of these. That's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. And I made it so that each one, I don't know what I was thinking, is worth, Donald says, um, $2 for every 10 subscribers. Now, I don't know if I can keep that up or not, right? Because already it's going to be $34 for 17 of these. But we'll see what happens. Um, and like I said, I do need a new envelope for it. And so we'll just do this for now. Oh, I got a bright light going on there. 2,000 subs. We'll put that in there. Or maybe we'll put it on top. I don't know. We'll see. And then I need $34 already. 10, 20, 30. Thirty-one, thirty-two, thirty-three, thirty-four. I did not check any of this for stars. I would like to get some bigger bill stars. And what did I check for I bucks? The most difficult ones to save. I will punch a hole, punch holes, and put this in the notebook. I have a bunch of work to do in this uh, binder because this is my games and my savings challenge binder also. And, um, you know, I've made quite a mess of it and I wanted to add some new challenges and games that were not huge. So I've got to work on that in my spare time. And... Then we're going to do steps. So we're starting September and I'm going to use these. They, they're, well, oh no. Well, <laughs> guys, this is going to be like a blooper video. Um, all right. Well, we'll use them anyway. And I use the sparkly. Nope, that's not it. The sparkly purple one right here when I'm over 8,000 steps. Um, I don't think that there is any in September, but I will tell you there was a few in, um, oh, I guess there is a couple. There were a few in October. Walking around those hospitals. Okay, so September 1st was a definite. Over, so it has to be over 5,000 to get colored in 5,000 steps, and I'm feeling pretty good about how I've done. There's the second one. Someone asked me about these pens, they are Mr. Pen um, gel highlighters, is what they're called. This one is 7,525 for September 3rd. This is a um, challenge in my shop, Fairy Rose Cottage, and it's really, as you can see, an A6 challenge um, that you would trim, you print them off, trim them out, and put them in the, uh, the A6 binders. Uh, but I chose to leave mine large because I was going to be using this big binder. So 
there you are. There you have it. Okay, so four and five did not get uh, 5,000. Uh, the sixth did. I think I have more in this month than I have had. The seventh, eighth, and ninth did not. And then the tenth is over 8,000. Hey, it snowed here in Maine today. Yep. Very sad. Because <laughs> it just means it's only going to get worse. Well, that was supposed to be purple, but, you know, it did this the last time, too. It colored it in black more. Um, 11 is a no-go. 12 is... Uh, 5,064. Yep, so it snowed today. We had we had rain, sleet, hail, and snow today. All from daylight to sundown. I do not know what is happening out there right now, though. The 13th, we got one. 5,655. The 14th, we also had one, 6,352. The 15th, we had one, 5,866. And we'll just go ahead and use these again. What was that? The 15th, so this one. The 16th was a no-go. The 17th was 6,000. Uh, 17th was 6,182. The 18th was 5,078. See, I did pretty darn good with my steps this month. Um, the 19th is 5,512. And the 20th is 6,406. So I did pretty good, but that means I'm going to owe some money. Each one of these is $5. Uh-huh. And the highest I've had to pay is 95. Okay, that was 20. 21 is 5,815. 22 is low. 23 is low. Uh, 21, 22, 23. 24 is a 9,117. Yay! Cue the fireworks! Yahoo! And then the 25th is a no-go. The 26th is a no-go. The 27th was 5,099. Let's see. 25th, 26th. Twenty-seventh. Okay. Just want to make sure we're on the right one. Twenty-seventh. And the twenty-eighth was five thousand seventy-two. Could I be getting more steps? Maybe, but I'm just pleased with this for now. I'm not setting the bar too high. 29th was 6,390. And then the 30th was a no-go. Had I seen that that night, I would have walked it off until I'd gotten to 5,000 before I went to bed. But I'm guessing, I, I kind of know what was happening um, during that time, and I think it was just, there was too much going on uh, with, I think maybe Scott was sick. Well, you know, I mean, he's got cancer, but I mean, he, he really wasn't feeling well, and 
So there was a lot going on. And I might have... I, I There was a lot going on, including my battery had died in the morning. So I might have gotten that far. Now, I did not do November yet. I mean, October yet. I started October. But I... But I haven't filled it in. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Wow, I thought I'd done more, honestly. I thought I'd done more than the other months. Let me, oh, I want to double count it there too. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Oh, that's August. <laughs> Way to confuse myself. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Where am I missing one? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Okay. I should have just left it with, with that first count, right? Because I knew it was eighteen. So we have eighteen. It's 18 times $5 equals 90. Um, so, you know, still, that's pretty darn good savings. I did, let's see, we started in April. April was $85. May was $85. June was 70 Then 95 95 and 90 And October, I think, will go over this 19 I think. Because I really had a lot of walking. 10, 20, 30. 35, 40, 45, 50, 55, 60, 65, 70. 71, 72, 73, 74, 75, 76, 77, 78, 79, 80. 3, 84, 85, 86, 87, 88, 89, 90. I'm going to make sure I counted that right. But I also want to see, I think, I can do some more tens for that. So let's see. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So that's twenty. So we have ten, twenty, thirty, forty, fifty, sixty, seventy, eighty. And then 90. Okay. This will go back. This goes with some money that I have ready to play some games with. All right. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. And that goes into the steps challenge. And I have consolidated and put into savings much of this already. So there's 100, 200, 300, 450 dollars already. Not bad. 50 dollars. 450, is that right? 1 2 3 4 50 60 70 80 90 500, 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 75, 575 dollars. I'll take it. I know not what I'm going to do with it. I don't need a new Fitbit. 
knock on wood. So I don't know what I'm going to do with it, but I'll just keep going till I figure it out. And this goes until March. And will I do, do it again? Probably. I may change it up. I may do something, you know, a different design, a different challenge or something. I don't know. I may count them as uh, more money for a certain amount of steps, things like that. I just, I don't know. So I don't have a lot left, guys. Um, because what did I do? A hundred and, no, 90 plus 34 is 124. Yeah, I have $26 left. So that's not going to get me through the entire month of... October, um, which is kind of sad because I'd like to, I do like to get them done. I finished September. Let me just make sure. August, September, yes. So these are in my shop, guys, and um, they... <clears throat> This particular set is a 12-month um, set, and it's got different uh, little fashion girls on it. This one has pumpkins for October, and they're each worth a dollar. So um, in November, there's 30 of them because there's 30 days in the month. In, September, in October, there's 31 because there's 31 days in the month, and <clears throat> so forth. I started this in March because you remember I started doing savings challenges in March, right? Um, so I will continue this through March of next year, I think. I've done nothing with the money except bank it, uh, put it into savings. So I'll just keep going until I finish it. And these are not laminated. I don't think I'll do these ones again uh, after March. I may try a different one. I may design something different. This also comes in one where you save the amount of the number of the month. So October would be the 10th month. So each pumpkin would be $10. But that's too much for my income. And then um, I also have ones with gnomes on them in the same way, either a dollar per day or um, the amount, depending on the month it's in. So May is the fifth month, so you'd save $5 a day. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16. 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26. Okay, you guys, I've got to do it. I'm going to add an extra five in this. So I'll have saved 155 tonight instead of 150 because it just means I'd have to go back, right, and do it eventually. So we're just going to take it. And did I put that on here? No. So let's put that. Today is the, well, today's the 9th, but you'll see this on the 10th monthlies $155 not bad <clears throat> oh look at my new binder you guys isn't that adorable remember I said I had a Christmas binder coming well um it came it was not well done I did send it back I very rarely have ever done that but um, I'm not going to mention the uh, shop because I think it was a in just a one-off issue. Like, I, I don't think that there have been other issues. And they were very kind in 
dealing with the situation, but the vinyl was peeled out. It was a kind of a mess. So I reordered from another um, shop and got this one. Isn't that adorable? And that is going to take the place of, I just have my Christmas um, ones in just a plain green binder. So for this year, it's going to take the place of that. But then for next year, I'm going to do it in um, sections. So for this is for holidays. I'm going to save for food, so meals that we have, sweet treats, so the goodies that I make for people, decorations, gifts, stocking stuffers, New Year's Eve, because we do um, order Chinese food for everyone on New Year's Eve, and it gets very expensive. Cards, because we order uh, photo cards and send them out. And then Mary Bright. Shh. So Mary Bright is one of Eli's elves. And um, sometimes we buy her treats. And then New Year's Eve. And if Eli's on here, hi, Eli. You know, sometimes we give the elves little treats, too. And this is 25, 26, 31. Um, so that one is done. And I'm not going to count what we have. Well, I guess, actually, I probably could. We have in the bank one. 210, 15, 20, 45, 46, 246. <clears throat> it should, by the end, be 365, right? Unless there's a leap year, which there is in February, by the way. Um, this is in the wrong place. So... There'll be $366. And we're going to take November's out. I won't do it until the beginning of next month, probably. But it is here. This would have been a great challenge to save for Christmas, too, actually. And that's it, you guys. I am going to wrap this up. It is a um, quick video. And I'm going to go get my jammies on and get ready for bed. Um, please check out the video for the 1,000 subscriber gifts. And um, you, you need to comment and like and subscribe in order to be entered on that video, that particular video. Um, you need to comment and like, and then you need to be subscribed. So check it out. It's pretty cool. There's a lot going on. And in another video soon, I'll be showing you what I'm adding to the um, goodie bags also. All right. Don't forget to sprinkle a little joy in someone's life. And I know I said I was going to make this short, and I am, but I want to tell you something that we've been doing um, that does seem to sprinkle joy in people's lives and cost us nothing. Really, nothing. Um, when we come in contact with someone in, at cancer care or the hospital, scheduling, nurses, um, phlebotomists, um, anyone. Oh, the, the fellas that, uh, they're security guards, but they actually are the ones that also open the door for you and they bring a wheelchair, they whip it right out to your car so you can get right in that wheelchair and everything. So what we've been doing is telling people how much we appreciate them. And um, just in a very kind, quiet way. And for instance, today, we have been struggling with, um, we saw his oncologist on Monday. She wanted new scans done 
ASAP, urgent, um, and also she wanted to point an appointment with her for us to sit down face to face as soon as the scans were done. And she wanted um, a lab work appointment. This was all on Monday and <clears throat> nothing has happened all week that we could see. Nothing came up on the portal. Nobody called us. We've just been sort of floating out here. So last night, um, I remembered that they had said, if you don't hear anything by Wednesday, call. And last night, I was laying in bed thinking, I don't even know who to call. Who do I call? And so I called. There is a um, lung navigator nurse. And we have had contact with her twice, two other times. And she's always been very helpful in putting us in the right direction. And so I thought, okay, I have her number. I'm going to call her in the morning. So I called her this morning, left a message. She called me back within an hour. And she said, I see all this in the report, but I don't see that anything has happened. So let me let me see what I can find out. And she was quite motivated because she's going on vacation tomorrow. And um, so she wanted to see if she could, as much as she could find out. So through the course of the day, um, the portal, it came up that we had an appointment with the oncologist next week had been scheduled. And then, I don't know, an hour or two later, lab work had been scheduled. And then at like 4.45, closing time, we got a call from a young lady who had scheduled his CT scans for next week. And I could tell that she was anxiously hoping that we would say that that time frame was okay. And I said to her, you know, um, we'll do it anytime you need us to, because we know how hard this is. And we have waited in a month and a half for scans before. So I said, in my opinion, you are a miracle worker. And she was, she just was so sweet. Oh, that's so kind of you. And I, I did work really hard, she said, and I knew um, the doctor wanted it and she wanted them urgently. And lot, most times we can't do that. But, you know, in in our humble opinion, what she wants when she asks for something like that, it's for a good reason. And she, she was just so sweet. And she said, so I crossed my fingers and crossed my toes and said some prayers. And she said, I, I got the appointments for you. And so I, I thanked her and I thanked her again. And I told her how important it was to us and how, you know, she's a key person in keeping my husband here with us and she was just you could tell very overwhelmed and and grateful for hearing that um, and then I proceeded to call the lung navigator a nurse back and said um, you know I left a message for her because it was closing time and I I said hey I'm just calling to let you know obviously I called the right person this morning um, somehow you made it all happen and we have everything we need and thank you so my point is neither one of those things cost us a cent and i know that young lady went home the scheduler went home feeling good about herself and it, that felt really good um so it, you know, we've been doing that as much as we can and being very sincere about it and very honest and upfront. And um, so my point is spread a little joy in someone's life. Just tell them how important they are to you. 
that doesn't cost a cent. All right, guys, happy saving, and I will see you real soon. Bye.